Today we'll be discussing turning your primary residence into a rental property. I love turning primary residences into rental properties because it's just another way for you to become a business owner. If no one told you this, when you decide to place your property, whether it's a personal residence or it's a rental property into rental purpose, you're a business owner. You're collecting rents, you're cash flowing, that's running a business. Chances are you may be wondering whether or not you need to do something. Should you set up an LLC? Should you get an umbrella policy? Well, for each single person that has a property, it's different. Let's just say that you have a condo and that you're turning your condo into a rental property. Well, great. Maybe you're only earning two, three, four thousand dollars a month, but whether or not you're earning a small amount or you're earning a lot, you probably want to protect that asset. God forbid something happens, your tenant slips and falls in your property, they hit their head, and they decide that they want to sue the homeowner for the incident that occurred at the property. Simply by having an LLC, you may protect yourself from this lawsuit by establishing some limited liability protection. Not to mention, when you decide to turn your regular primary residence into a rental property, you're given write-offs that a normal homeowner is not given. The three write-offs that a homeowner is not given, that a rental property investor is given, starts off with management expenses, repair and maintenance, and depreciation. These are the three biggest write-offs that rental real estate investors receive that normal property owners who just own a primary residence do not receive. One of the beautiful parts about investing in real estate is that depreciation can be accelerated. So speak with your tax provider to see if there's any strategies you can leverage to avoid 100% of the taxes associated with your new investment property. Not to mention, if you decide to turn your primary residence into an investment property, you may choose to live in one unit and rent out the other unit. This is another way for you to get into an investment. Maybe you decided to add an accessory dwelling unit on the back end of your property. What an accessory dwelling unit is, it's another property that's attached to your first unit. Maybe you have a primary residence that you can build a back house on the back lot and now you have another property for another tenant to live in. Or maybe you can convert your primary residence into a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex. Anytime you're adding an additional property, additional building structure to your existing property, it's called an accessory dwelling unit. Now, you also need to make sure before you start building that you are getting this approved by your city and that the inspections have been done in order to make sure that you're meeting your city's requirement. One of the beautiful benefits to having an accessory dwelling unit is when you become a homeowner, you may choose to purchase a primary residence under an owner-occupied loan. Maybe you're putting down less of a down payment to get into your primary residence. One of the benefits of being in a primary residence is you can have property that goes up in value, that appreciates. If your property appreciates in value, you can look to take money out of the property in the form of a HELOC or cash out refinance to start your build project. Maybe you decided that you want to go ahead and build that accessory dwelling unit. Now you have the opportunity to do so. By simply doing cash out refinance, you're pulling tax-free money out of your property to build another unit on the backside that is now turning you into a rental real estate investor. Not to mention this depreciation on this back end of the property can accelerate to offset the taxable income from the rents that you receive and maybe even some earned income from your normal day-to-day -day job. If you have any questions on whether or not these strategies would be best for you, or if you just wanna sit down and talk with someone about it, Feel free to leave me a comment or you may reach out to me by scheduling a call through my link in my bio. If you liked today's video, feel free to drop a thumbs up and I look forward to making more videos like this for you. Thank you so much.